Ptolemy believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe, that the sun and the moon and the planets like Mars went around the Earth. It's the most natural idea in the world. The Earth seems steady, solid, immobile, while we can see the heavenly bodies rising and setting every day. But then how explain the loop-the-loop -loop motion of the planets in the sky, Mars, for example? This little machine shows Ptolemy's model. The planets were imagined to go around the Earth, attached to perfect crystal spheres, but not attached directly to the spheres, but indirectly through a kind of off-center wheel. The sphere turns, the little wheel rotates, and as seen from the Earth, Mars does its loop-the-loop. This model permitted reasonably accurate predictions of planetary motion, where a planet would be on a given day. Certainly good enough predictions for the precision of measurement in Ptolemy's time and much later. Supported by the Church through the Dark Ages, Ptolemy's model effectively prevented the advance of astronomy for 1,500 years. Finally, in 1543, a quite different explanation of the apparent motion of the planets was published by a Polish cleric named Nicholas Copernicus. Its most daring feature was the proposition that the sun, not the Earth, was at the center of the universe. The Earth was demoted to just one of the planets. The retrograde or loop-to-loop -loop motion happens as the Earth overtakes Mars in its orbit. You can see that from the standpoint of the Earth, Mars is now going slightly backwards, and now it is going in its original direction. This Copernican model worked at least as well as Ptolemy's crystal spheres. But it annoyed an awful lot of people. The Catholic Church later put Copernicus's work on its list of forbidden books. And Martin Luther described Copernicus in these words. He said, people give ear to an upstart astrologer. This fool wishes to reverse the entire science of astronomy. Close quote.